All right, you ready? Yeah. So, we wanted to put together a slightly different form of uh, Hoxo Life this uh, this uh, this month, and, and really it's about the summer. So, if you notice, we haven't put that many Hoxo Lives out there. And the reason being, I'd say this summer's been uh, just insane. Like, it's just I'm going to tell you about some of the things we've been through, and every business goes through loads of stuff. But for us, it's been, uh, I'd say, probably the the biggest turning point in, in the agency's history so far. So I want to share with you some of the stuff. Also, there's some personal things in there that, as you know, we've always been pretty open about who we are and what we're about. So um, I think it's probably the first thing to say about the summer was I got married. <laughs> Checking on the last 24 hours. She's so dramatic, post a caption, I say no regrets. But that's just a cover up, I know the truth, I lied a time. I've seen this play out before, I moved on and now you're bored, my new relationship up in. And you just can't ignore it, but like you can't stand the picture of my girl all up. Yeah, I got married and she's still, she's still with me now, um, which I'm uh, grateful for. But uh, yeah, I, I mean, I've talked about it a little bit on my podcast and a little bit on, on LinkedIn and stuff. Uh, it was probably the most stressful period of my life because I was, I was also not only trying to build our Hoxo and, and Connect, but I was doing a house renovation, which was a nightmare. And then planning a wedding. We had a big Turkish wedding, my wife's Turkish. And, it was just, it was an amazing day. We got like a 32 degree day. JJ on the camera was there shooting <laughs> in. We had the whole Hoxo team there. Unbelievable day, but it definitely took my attention away from everything we were doing. And I'm really grateful that I'm my business partner was able to soak a lot of that stuff up and um, probably didn't, I didn't feel the pressure as much as I expected, but amazing experience. We had a honeymoon in Greece um, and I'm, I'm just grateful that we've been able to capture it. Uh, and I obviously I was able to take time off and the team managed to carry on as they were. Um, that's my wife now texting me on birthday that way. Um, the next thing that happened, so just before the wedding, unfortunately, as most people in the industry know because they, they follow what we're doing on LinkedIn, we had the news that Hisham Azuz was gonna move on and, and start his own business, Azuz Branding, which he's since done. And I'm not gonna pretend I wasn't gutted when he, when he told me because we loved having him in the business, he was brilliant. And this was a guy that joined us a year before, so May 2018. I mean, the footage I've got of him last year on Hoxwell Live, you can see. Each and every single day, I will eat avocados on their own, with a spoon. He was a, he was a, he was a breath of fresh air. The, the whole time he was here, he worked his absolute arse off. Um, we helped him a lot as well, so we built his personal brand from, I mean, he was doing a podcast in his bedroom. When he left, he had like six, 7,000 listeners a month. and. He was, he was at like 15,000 contacts in the, in the recruitment space, which we, we were proud of doing that together. Um, but when he told us these reasons and what he wanted to do, I mean, it was clear that it was the right move for him. We were never gonna hold him back. I mean, I'd be the biggest hypocrite on the planet if I held someone back, which is basically what I did a few years ago was leave to do something I wanted to do. So it was a big shock and uh, everyone felt it. And But we were proud of him and we're sitting, I mean, he looks like he's killing it. I've not really seen him. He came to the wedding, but um, I'm meeting up with him in Manchester next week and I'm proud of him and but but the business has responded really well. We didn't actually re replace him at the time. We were thinking we're gonna hire someone else straight away, but we didn't, which has meant me going back into sales, head down, doing like six, seven, eight calls a day, um, which I wasn't doing before. But it's been great. And 
what that also coincided with was <clears throat> was launching our newest but most it's been our most popular product ever so inbound light is our inbound marketing and sales solution for small startup to sort of medium-sized recruitment businesses anyone from one-man bands up to your 20 to 30 man agencies that doesn't mean we wouldn't work with bigger agencies but typically we work with the smaller businesses on this product and what it is it's a it's a way for recruitment agencies to access and enjoy the the benefits of inbound marketing without investing in the whole bells and whistles of what you, what we can do because it's very sophisticated there's a hell of a lot going on um, most recruitment companies who come to us have done little or no marketing before therefore it's the first step in their journey we can talk about the bigger stuff later we launched that i think it was april may and We've quadrupled the size of our agency since then in terms of the client base and um, we're getting some amazing feedback, great results. So I'm, I'm super, super excited and if, if you are a small business and you're interested in finding out more then just get in touch. Um, but that's been amazing and then this summer as well, JJ is sporting it so I hope you can show it on the camera. But yeah. we got a new kit for the team which I'm, I'm not wearing. Um, <laughs> um, Alright, we, we might need a little pair of scissors. Ooh, sorry, I'm only that strong. Not when you're that strong, but yeah, I'm in the gym. Oh, I'm getting changed. Yeah. Now we're using on board. Oh, look, pants for it. Yeah, it's a. It's not a slide. It's a. It's not a good line. It's box over for next. Yes, mate. The jumpers. They look actually decent. They're nice, bro. Yeah, they're not bad then. Yeah, I mean, they're in the order. Yeah, that's what we're about. Yeah, they look big there. We've got a hockey team. Yeah, no, I feel that out as well. They look massive. Oh, are they? They are big. We do have a little side in the football side as well. We've got jumpers. We've got that. Alright, can we get creative? Let's see how you end it, though. Look at that. There you go. Connect is starting to really take off. So we've been hosting events. We've been TRN. We've been doing all sorts of stuff. They're winning new clients and having a great but they've, they've, they've launched a new model this summer as well, which is all, it's a retained service. Um, I won't go into detail, but um, it's effectively an opportunity for you to hire really, really qualified, experienced salespeople from other industries with predictability, with, um, with accountability from us. So we guarantee you a certain level of service and, and delivery, but also a reduced cost from what you can pay elsewhere. So it's actually, it saves you money and it's a better quality product. So again, if you're thinking of hiring salespeople in your recruitment business, over the next six to 12 months. Get in touch with Adam, I'll tag him in this post. You, you will want to hear about it. A uh, couple more things before you get bored shitless of me on screen. The rag is back. So season two of the rag podcast is back with me, Sean Anderson, the CEO and founder of Hoxo Media. In season two, we're going to be a bit different. We're going to interview, still interview recruitment owners and it's still designed to help recruitment owners with stories of growth. So. If you're a recruitment owner now or aspiring to be one in the future, this podcast is designed to help you learn from others who've already been through anything you can think of. So we're going to be interviewing people from the largest agencies, some people from some of the smallest agencies, people who are all over the world, and some people who've built huge brands. Brands like Mark Gaysford. Mark, what did you think of the podcast? Oh, shit, really. Oh, I mean, it's honestly... Oh, God. It's not, worth, well, it's not worth watching. It really isn't. Oh, stay out of it. Right, well, we filmed our first episode last week. We've got another episode tomorrow. We've got some super, super exciting guests. Um, and I mean, I've missed it, if I'm honest. But I think it was the right thing to do was have a break, 25 episodes. We had the wedding. We had all shit to sort out in the business. We've got things stabilized. We're growing again. And uh, the rag's back. So this season, we're going to be releasing an episode every Wednesday. And it's going to be a similar format, but I want it to be a more open discussion. I want the personal lives of owners to be much more open. I want it. I don't want it to be um, in any way scripted, and I want people to genuinely like laugh out loud, cry out loud, and feel connected to the owners that are talking on on, um, on the podcast. We've had some amazing feedback from from season one. We were getting about three thousand listeners a month. We want to take that to being the number one in the industry, of course. Hishem coming for you. And uh, what else we got? So. Off the back of the new products, new services, and, and the fact that we kind of kept our head down and didn't replace two people, we have been hiring. So we just hired two new account managers in the last month. So Bav has joined us. Um, he's actually an ex-recruiter, but has got a strong copywriting and actual marketing background. So he's coming in into our account management team. 
um, settled in like a, an absolute house on fire and uh, Gurney is from a big background in marketing, worked for some amazing agencies, global marketing agencies and uh, should be coming in to help our clients as well. So that's amazing. We are hiring more account managers so if you do uh, know anyone who's a marketing account manager, get in touch with us, specifically if they've got inbound marketing. And finally, we are hiring salespeople, and that is for Hoxo and Connect. So, I've put a post up last week, I got about 15,000 views already, sorry, in the last two days, and, and the big thing is, recruitment is, a, is typically a 360 model, but personally, I don't think, even though I was a pretty good 360 biller, I don't think that's where the industry's heading. And in recruitment, um, there's not there's, there's not as many opportunities for people that just do delivery or just do sales, but in Hoxo Group we for, that's what we believe. So in um, in our Connect business we need delivery consultants. We want people that are recruiters, experienced recruiters. Doesn't really matter what sector, but ideally if you worked in sales before as well that'd be an amazing blend. But if you're passionate about finding good recruiters that could join the industry from other backgrounds, we've got an inbound stream of these candidates. We just need quality people that can represent the recruitment industry properly, talk about it and actually care about it. Um, and all they want to do all day is find the best people for our clients. If that sounds like you, get in touch with um, Tommy, who I'm going to tag in this post, or myself. We are hiring now and salespeople. So my team, we are now growing quite rapidly. So I need to hire two people minimum in the next two months. I need to have four by Q1 next year. So um, this is a 100% business development role. Ideally, you're a recruiter, you've got a few years experience, you're not necessarily that interested in the candidate side of the job, you're more interested in helping other recruiters with solutions that help them win more business or find more candidates through marketing. Um, we will fully train you on our solution, we'll tell you everything you need to know. If you know about recruitment, you're good at business development, you like opening doors. I mean, we get three to 400 inbound leads a month from recruitment companies wanting to talk to us. So there's an element of this role wouldn't be as cold calling as you used to, but there's still an element of outbound. Um, but if you're hungry, you want to grow with a business that we, we're, we're going to scale globally, that's the plan, then uh, this could be a super exciting opportunity. We're based in Bethnal Green. We are a um, pretty cool, fun bunch, I believe. Um, JJ, or do you agree behind the yes, camera? Yes, um, very fun. Yeah. Very fun. Uh, but no, the opportunity is massive. We're going to grow. Um, and if you're the first few in the door reporting directly into me and the team, I think uh, yeah, the opportunity to grow with us will be, will be immense. So. If that sounds like you, on either front, get in touch with us. We're hiring now. We'll be interviewing the next couple of weeks. We need people to start in October and November. We're going to be back very soon with Hot Soul Life, aren't we, Jay? Yep. Yep. So we, I did speak at Bullhorn Engage last week, and I'm doing some more speaking, speaking next week. So we're going to capture all of that. We're going to give you an overview of what I've been up to, and we'll give you even more nuggets on life at Hot Soul Media. Well, the Hot Soul Group, not even Hot Soul Media anymore. We've grown that fast.